Let's say you have an idea of what your internet should have, maybe some HR content, some news, events, etc. Can you imagine going to the page level and building the entire intranet based on those bits of information? No, what you need is an information architecture. Information architecture is kind of like a Google map. You need one to know where you're going, unless, of course, you have an Uber to drive you there. So where do you begin with an information architecture? It's really a two-step process. First, you need to bring in key stakeholders whose content will be on the internet. These are usually department members from HR, communications, and IT, but there could be more. You want to make sure these key stakeholders are present, otherwise you might end up with an incomplete site or worse, resistance from the people that were not present. Now, once you have the key stakeholders, step number one is to organize a workshop with them. In this workshop, which can also be done remotely using tools like uh, Mural and Teams, we like to show stakeholders an, an example of an existing information architecture from another intranet, like this one. It's even better if you can give an example of the information architecture to your stakeholders from the related industry. We then ask for everyone to look at the template for a few minutes and mark down any content that does not apply to your organization. Looking at this example, you may not need a performance management section on your internet because maybe it's housed somewhere else in, in another system. So then presumably someone from HR would ask to remove it. If there is an objection, then we discuss it. If not, we just move on. So that's the first step. The second step is to ask participants to add content that's missing and again, discuss any objections or questions. Depending on the number of people in the workshops, we sometimes hold these workshops on two separate days just to let people digest all that information and talk amongst their teams. In the end, you will have something like this, a comprehensive content map. This map will outline key pages, roughly what content will be on each page, and even who will be responsible for maintaining and updating each of these areas. The thing about this exercise is it's also a lot about change management. When you co-create this map with everybody right from the get-go, different stakeholders get to see different people's perspectives. This will help resolve possible objections and also get commitment further down the road when it comes to creating all of these pages. So there you have it, a two-step process to design an excellent information architecture. Now, if you want to learn a few more things about how to run these workshops or what happens next, check out the link in the description below where we break these things down.